hey what's up welcome everybody in today's video I thought I'll share with you uh, how to make this kind of reply bot like slack bot so I hope you know what slack is uh, if you don't know it is just uh, it is generally a chat room kind of thing uh, you can discuss you can make different channels and discuss different topics on that those ch channels so if you haven't signed up for slack.com just go to slack.com and uh, get started there so what will create it uh, create is like a simple thing uh, so if someone on this channel says hello uh, or someone comes here for first time will reply uh, with some generic message that message can be anything so currently I'm just putting this dummy message welcome thank you for joining and leave message so this is replying automatically so we will uh, build this using Zapier so we'll build uh, that app using Zapier it is uh, really fast uh, using this and we don't need to code anything uh, we might make another video where we'll be coding the app ourselves but this service uh, it is free so you can sign up with Google and before signing up here uh, if you don't have any slack workspace you need to sign in you just need to get started and create a workspace it will guide you, guide you through here get started create new workspace if you have on doing it first time if you already have workspace so go this way all right so after uh, slack is uh, all set and you got uh, a slack workspace then you can sign up here and this will take you to this uh, dashboard all right so uh, this step it is not just for slack uh, it can do many things like from it connect Facebook to Gmail, uh, Google Sheets. Yeah, it will send email if someone types something and something like that. Yeah, you can explore that, but in this video, we'll make uh, that bot. So, first thing you need to do is uh, make a Zap. So, they call it Zap. And here you can search for uh, any number of apps that you want to connect, like these. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll connect slack so in first step slack so the idea is uh, first we'll set up a trigger which will trigger that bot that we are going to build and after someone triggers that bot what action that uh, bot is going to do we will define it here so first thing we set up the app and then choose a track uh, trigger so that can be new message new message posted to channel new public message posted anywhere or whenever new channel is created you can create a sample message like what to do and what are the steps so that can be helpful in many ways there are other options as well so i will trigger for a new message posted to channel all right, let's trigger for new public message posted to anywhere and save and continue. So uh, this step will ask you to connect your Slack with Zapier. So uh, I've already uh, created. So if you haven't, uh, just hit connect to your account and here it will ask you to sign in to your Slack and authorize. So you can choose which workspace to authorize this for. So this is fine for now. So since I have already authorized, you can see here, I don't need to do that. So save and continue and set option. So if no, only human message will trigger that. If yes, both bots and human will trigger. So I, I suggest uh, putting no because only humans should trigger the uh, bot. Otherwise it will go for loop. All right, so let's hit continue. So in this step, you can test uh, that mm, if that is working or not by going connect and continue. It will look for all. Uh, it will just test if connection is all right or not. So let's hit continue and go to next step. All right. So trigger step is done. It will trigger that app if um, message is posted anywhere on the uh, workspace that is specified. And on this step also, we need to choose the app Slack choose action yeah we can do send direct message send channel message or anything so whenever uh, the user it's uh, some message we need to send a message to user as well 
for now let's send channel message we'll send message to channel so that uh, we can post message to everybody so that should be the general message so here also ask for connect account so it is already done so you don't need to do in this step you already connected in trigger step save and continue so here you can pick a uh, for which channel you want to trigger that for so for now let's do random so it's specify text or message to send so if user is that uh, what you want to send uh, the, uh, them so that could be anything like your contact information your email or any general message for new user like uh, please sign up for this or that whatever the action might be so I will send glad you joined alright so uh, when someone posts to this random and so uh, when someone uh, types any new message I will send this to this channel random channel with uh, so I'm just promoting my channel like that you can you can do anything so here you can uh, in message will appear to come from you so if you do no it will uh, it will show the message it won't show like a chatbot send this message it will uh, say that you send the direct message so you can give a bot name promo bot any icon so for example robot face alright so there are other options I will hit continue alright so this is the channel we are sending this text it will show all uh, summary of our app so you can do send test to slack or just skip test then finish so after that uh, you can turn on your zap or you can name uh, alright so we turned on our zap and named it this okay so once that is done let's go to our workspace and on random let's say let's type any message any hey man yeah so it sends us this message glad you yeah joining please check out our youtube channel as well so it will trigger on anything like this all right so uh, how we can prevent that is uh, we just listen for some kind of text or if you just join for first time so the way we do that uh, here is click on add so continue only if so it will only trigger or continue uh, only if someone if we see some message so this uh, action will won't happen unless this filter passes so uh, continue so you, you can do many things like you can listen for text username channel name all right raw text yeah there are many things so for now just listen for text text uh, contains hi so if one it's hi you can create uh, any kind of filter or and you can add many things so if someone hits hi we'll send that otherwise we don't so that is created continue so now uh, whenever we make change we again need to turn it on so it is on uh, we can go to dashboard to see our apps I've already created another one we don't need to so whenever a uh, user hits any other message it won't trigger but whenever we hit hi it should send us that like so so you get the idea how to make a slack bot uh, also uh, one more thing uh, currently we are running under free you can you can see about best plans from here uh, so currently we are on free so for a small group of developers or a small company this free option is totally fine so these tasks are like if someone hits something then this part send it this this is considered as one task so currently we are we have done three tasks one two three 
so if you uh, if your need is more you can always look for other options for i think free is fine for now all right so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video bye